the worst lighting in the video ever. So we have two options. Take the old freezer and move it that way. Yep. And put the new freezer here. Mm -hmm. Or we move this freezer this way and put the new one on that side. They're about <laughs> the same. It is about the same. Welcome back, friends. Down in the deep, dark, dungeon. cold, ba <laughs> it's cold down here tonight. Cold basement of our home. The uh, pigs are done. Yeah, we got the call yesterday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, four days. They had the pigs ready for us to come pick them up. Yep. So we, it took us about a month of searching, calling our local big box store every Wednesday and every Friday because that's when they get their shipments in. Do you have any upright freezers? They finally said yes. I left the house 20 minutes later. I was in the store. I paid. The very next day they delivered it. So yeah. we have a new freezer. They're hard to find. If you find one, jump on it because they're going to go quick. Yes. And we need to, we need this extra space for our pigs so that we can bring them home. Yep. This freezer's full. Well, We're not pretty exactly close to full. being full. Yeah. Mostly full. chickens uh, and miscellaneous stuff, sausages, different things. Yep. And a couple things of ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> Our late night treats from time to time. Yeah. So this one we'll probably dedicate, I think we'll just, because we do have some chickens in our deep freeze, like our chest freezer. So we're gonna, our plan is, is our chest freezer is gonna be garden harvest location, which I really could use that space. And some of my pressure last fall to, can as much as I could was because I didn't have the freezer space for it. Oh my God, I gotta do these tomatoes, it's yeah, full. Yeah, yeah, right. I mean, like I couldn't fit anything more, which is a good thing because I definitely don't want to ever depend on my freezer because that's not safe. But um, this one will get dedicated to like poultry and then this one will be our pork. And this one being? Oh, sorry. This one, Yeah. the new one. <laughs> So we're going to figure out, um, I guess it might be easiest to move this one that way. Okay. And then if this, this new one doesn't fit without this, I think there's an old, old here. Let me bring you down. Okay. Lighting wise. So this old pipe, this is an old clay pipe, which I think used to be some sort of a sewer pipe is all I can figure. Um, this house just had a septic system put in somewhat recently within the last 20 years. Prior to that, they had this that dumped, I don't really know the whole story, but I know my neighbor had issues with the people that lived here before and uh, we won't get into that story. <laughs> and then there's this pipe here, which is an old piece of metal. Um, this one I'm quite sure I can break off if I need to, if we need to make some space. And then under here is also a drain for water that goes across the basement way over there to our sump pump. So we can't go any farther than this or our freezer is going to fall in that hole. Mm -hmm. But I measured ahead of time and if we shift this one far enough, we should be good. I still might get rid of this. I will get rid of this eventually and cement over this. That way this doesn't exist anymore. So I want to move it. You can move it to about here. Yeah, good luck. I think I should be on that side because you're going to just push it on my toes. Tell me one, two, three. Okay, we're just going to like... <laughs> oh, maybe not. One, two, three. You gotta do it on the threes. Three. Oh, yeah. <laughs> One, two, three. Hold on, hold on. I'm not even in position now. Come on, I wanna we just do it from the same side. I won't see I almost fell in the hole. Because <laughs> I need to lift that side while you push this side. Oh, that's dangerous. Don't what about your dolly? Don't you have a dolly? <sighs> yeah. You're gonna hurt we're your half, back. We're halfway done. <laughs> Not really, we have this 
one's still to move. Well, this one's empty. It's not full of chicken. Yeah. <laughs> we got like... I'm gonna fall in there. Eight more inches to go. One. Hold on. One, two, three. That's how you do it. Okay, one, two, three. Okay, that's about close. But we're pretty close. I'm just gonna break off a little bit of this. The light bulb, that's what you're like. Light bulb very close now. Ow! Thank I know you. it was getting me it's too. Oh, yes! <laughs> Good job, Rachel. That's like fancy. It has like quick freeze option, lock. So Are we going to try to get the styrofoam out from under the bottom now? Yes, but I don't know what you want to do to do that. Um, I don't know. Let me tip it this way. Good? Yeah, you can let go. I'm going to tip it my way now okay. and then you can pull that last of it out. Good job. It's not falling in the hole. So cool features, stainless steel rags. Did you know that it had stainless steel rags? That's I knew nice. really nothing about it. So stainless steel rags, two drawers, and four side pockets. So we'll see if it fits two pigs. Yeah. And there's like some controls right here on the front. You can set it as a freezer or a refrigerator. And there's got a key lock. So if you're really on a big diet, just lock it and hide the key. <laughs> <laughs> now, I was thinking when I just ran out to the garage to get that extension cord, I was thinking that we're like a three freezer family right now. And I was thinking back to when we lived in the city we had none. We had our refrigerator with our freezer in our kitchen, and then our garage had a refrigerator and a freezer. Mm -hmm. We had no chest freezers, no... No, but I was shopping every week and grocery shop. <laughs> I, yeah. You know, now we're not having to do that. Yeah. Three freezers. Oh. You gotta do a little bit of adjustment just to get the doors to open better, but we're pretty close. Yeah, I don't want to get more than three freezers though. This is already feeling like a bit excessive. That one but works. I could imagine like, oops, if you raised your own poultry, you raised your own pork, your own cow, you know, or beef, or if just say you raise three types of meat sources every year, or I know a lot of folks in the coastal regions fish a ton. You really need that much space if you plan on harvesting a year's worth supply of beef at a time. You know? For sure. So it does take up a lot more room than you would expect. Yeah, because this one, one freezer, if it holds two pigs. We'll be lucky, yeah. That'll be our pork for the next two years. Yeah. So one freezer, two years, two pigs. And then this one with the poultry. This will get cycled out every year. Yeah. We'll mm -hmm. raise new meat birds as these are gone. Mm -hmm. So we're ready to go pick up our pigs tomorrow. Tomorrow? I want to go. I'm not. I don't want to wait. I want to get on. <laughs> well, I have like plans on Saturday, so. Oh, okay. So see you guys maybe in the next video's pork reveal. Maybe tomorrow. <laughs> see you guys later. <laughs>